Hey guys, welcome back. So today's topic is how to freeze rows and how to freeze columns in Excel. So let's get started. Okay. So if you can see that this is the header and this are this is the data which I am having. Okay. I am scrolling down and if I want to see what this data was, I will have to again scroll back to the top row to see what exactly which column it was. Okay. So what to do in order to see this column? Whenever I am scrolling beyond the top 20 or odd rows, the answer is simple. You need to freeze this pane so that it continues to see whenever you are rolling more rows. Okay, so how to freeze this pane? Okay, the, the first thing which we need to do is keep your mouse on A1. A1 because you need to freeze the first pane. Okay, freeze the top row. So what I will select, I will do over here or as you can keep anywhere and click freeze top row. So what this will do, it will freeze the top row. Okay. So now if I roll, you can see that the top row is at as it is. It doesn't change. Okay. Now the thing comes, what if you want to freeze multiple rows? Okay. But before that, I will show you one more thing. Okay. So let's say you are scrolling down and at the same time you you want to check what does this customer has 14th number customer Linode has okay so if you scroll over here and just scroll down and if you see for 14th number you can exactly make out what it was but you want to check which customer is having this amount so you will have to go again roll back to this columns and check okay it was bugs okay so what needs to be done in order to freeze this columns also okay the answer to this is very simple so if you want to freeze this column place your cursor or selected cell next to that column if you want to freeze this column also place your cursor or the selected cell next to that column and just click on unfreeze panes and if you want to unfreeze panes you need to pre click on freeze panes now click freeze panes so now if you see these lines have been created this line and this line okay now if you scroll back you can see customer is there as it is so if you whenever you scroll down you can see the serial number as well as the customers so these are the way to freeze and unfreeze the columns now i will just unfreeze so what needs what if i click on freeze first column it will freeze the first column okay and this freezing and unfreezing doesn't support control z so if i press control z it won't uh, unfreeze the row or column okay so you need to make sure what uh, you are doing okay so now let's say you want to freeze this row this row this column and this column so what does the rule says the rule says keep your cursor okay keep the selected cell in the cell which will be the next cell after freezing the rows okay what does that means it means that if you want to freeze this rows and this columns so which is the cell which remains it is this cell Okay, then select this cell, click, first I will unfreeze pins, now freeze pins. Now if you see this, uh, these lines you can see now, those are more visible and now the first three rows are visible to you, okay, two columns are visible to you and the first three rows are visible to you, okay. So these are different tricks wherein you can always freeze and unfreeze rows, okay, so that it for today if you like this video just subscribe to it like and unlike and hit the notification bell thank you